May the 2nd, 1988. That's 25 years ago to the night. Exactly 25 years ago, the other guy that occasionally shows up around here, Peter Mansbridge, began as host of the National. Everybody at the National thought it would be a great idea to celebrate both the man and the anniversary. But we know our anchor. He doesn't like the spotlight himself, believe it. He wouldn't want a tribute. So we've been lying like dogs and keeping him in the dark. And what he's about to see is a surprise to him. Some of the places, some of the stories, some of the people that he's covered in that long, grand span. If you're 25 years at the National, you get to see the world and your own country in it. Peter, you really didn't know about this. We kept it from you. That's just too bad. But here it is, our tribute to the anchor and our friend. The National with Peter Mansbridge. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. I'm Peter Mansbridge, and this is The National. Peter, he's Canadian. Well, we are a long way from our usual cozy studio tonight. It's about 3,000 kilometers that way. This is the Northwest Passage. We're in a shaft at the old Syndicate coal mines here in Spring Hill, Nova Scotia. These are unusual surroundings for the National. We're about an hour north of Fort McMurray from Stratford, Ontario in Delta, British Columbia. From Parliament Hill in Saskatoon, going live off the deck of an icebreaker in Vancouver. From Montreal, once again tonight, a city at the heart of a crisis in the coal. Humble, he's hardworking, he is an excellent journalist. Peter Manridge is an icon. He's come into our homes for the last 25 years. Do you worry about the ice? Yes, I do, yeah. Um, what's going to happen if it all melts, melts away? Oh, jolly we minor men, and minor men are we. They've all worked the coal mines in Cape Breton. Now they sing to preserve the heritage and the folklore of the island's mining communities. <laughs> Canada is still here tonight, but just barely. Quebecers have voted no to sovereignty. But of course, the story the whole world is watching is the historic switch to the year 2000. This is the day that Winnipeg has been waiting for, worrying about, even dreading. Let us recap for you what has happened today on what has proven to be an unforgettable day. Name the youngest MP in the House of Commons. Pierre Luc Dusson. I looked it up, Peter. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Peter Mansbridge from downtown Toronto. For the most part, an eerily dark Toronto. He's not scared to ask the tough questions. I'm not making this up. I was watching your show last night. I really was. You still have that same mixture of excitement and some tension around nerves mm -hmm. with the release of a new album? Absolutely. What have you learned about yourself in the last year? Oh boy, a lot. Um, although I have to say, uh, cancer teaches you some things, but having a granddaughter teaches you more. Is war with Iraq inevitable? No, I don't think so. When a plane comes apart, you see the wires and the metal, and mm -hmm. and, and I felt it. The sense you felt these it just, pieces like You feel everything you just falling apart. When you say you're working towards something, what, what is it? To win the Stanley Cup, you know, from a team perspective, that's what you play for. Are we actually safer as a people today than we were 10 years ago? You know, Peter, I think we are. The Avatar fans. I still would. dodged your question. Yeah, you still <laughs> did. I mean, that was pompous, by the way. I'm allowed to be pompous. I'm the mayor of London. It goes with the job. It is. You've been to Canada once. What's your sense of the country? Well, I've been to Canada a couple of times. Uh, look, I, I think that Canada is... Uh, one of the most impressive countries in the world. I like his delivery, I like his uh, intelligence, his curiosity. That's what I think of Peter Mansridge. Worldly, traveled all around the world. We can always count on him to tell us what's going on. Good evening, I'm Peter Mansbridge inside Vatican City. 
Good evening from the Netherlands, Baghdad. In Tiananmen Square tonight from London. In Vimy Ridge, France. From Kandahar, Afghanistan. Here in Berlin, there's another opening in the wall tonight, number 22. When the waves crashed ashore here and they didn't have far to come, there's the beach line. Our ride today is on an Israeli Air Force Black Hawk helicopter. That is the area that the suicide bombers used to get to some of their targets. Look at those. Those are the papal apartments just over on the other side. That's where the Pope lives. As night falls, we're back on the road, moving through the streets of Kandahar, and as always, on the lookout. Peter is one classy fella. And it's its 25th anniversary? Congratulations, Peter. Yeah, he just seems like a pretty good gent, I'd say. I'd like to meet Peter. Shake his hands. Happy 25 years, Peter. You're an all-star. <laughs> Sorry. Peter Mansbridge, if you see me, happy 25th. Happy anniversary, Peter Mansbridge. You're doing a great job and looking forward to 25 more. And that's the national this Monday night. <laughs> At the end of the night, he always says, I'm Peter Mansbridge, thanks for watching. And I always want to say, you're welcome, but I really should be thanking him. Thanks for watching.